Hi guys, it's me, Charlie, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. So, I'm going to be showing you how to get Hello Neighbor mods for free on PC. Now, I mean, they're not that good because, what's it called? It's not actually the PC version of the game, it's the um, Android version. So, uh, yeah. So pretty much, I'll have two links in the description of the video. One for the APK file, which is the actual game itself. One for the OBB file, which is like the game's data. One for... And, and one for Bluestacks, which is the Android emulator that I'm using. You've probably heard of it before. So, uh, yeah, the other one I'm not going to put because you just got to get it on the Play Store. So what you're going to do is you're just going to set up Bluestacks, you know, get it all set up. I'm not exactly sure how. I kind of just went through with it when I first got it. And then once you're actually in, you're going to head over to the Play Store, which should already be installed sign in and you're just going to search Z archiver so what you're going to do is you're just going to install this it's free you don't need anything and once you do it if it asks you for permission to access your files you're going to hit yes because it's literally an alternative better file explorer now oh uh, so after that you're going to download the links that I put in the description. And so you're going to install the APK by just double clicking it. Now on the first time you might have to right click open with and open it with blue stacks. So yeah, you're just going to install that. It should automatically install. And then what you're going to do is you're going to extract the file for the OBB and so once you have that extracted you're just gonna run hello neighbor and then just exit it you don't really need to do anything else with it yet then once you run hello neighbor and you exit it you are going to go back to where the OBB file is now I don't have it because I got it from this so I actually don't need that anymore. You're going to go back to the blue sex, you're going to Media Manager, and you're going to Import from Windows, and you're just going to click on the file. Then once you do that, you're going to go back to Z Archiver. And what you're going to do from here is you're going to search OBB, and you're going to look for this. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy this, and then you're going to go to Device Storage, Android, OBB, this folder right here, and you're just going to paste it. So yeah. This is also an older version because I don't think the newer one will work on Bluestacks. You can try and get... This is B274, you can try and get B364, but I couldn't find that one anywhere. If you want to try and get the newer one, just go on to YouTube or whatever. And you're just going to search this. G-E-O-K-A-R 2006. And you're going to go to his channel. This is the person who made all the mods. This is the version we're downloading right here. But yeah, so you can get this. He also has other mods like Bendy, Poppy Playtime, and you use these the same way that you use like the Hello Neighbor mods and everything. So yeah, but I'm pretty sure that this one doesn't work in the latest update, and I'm not too sure about the download link for this one because it downloads an EXE file instead of an APK, so I say 
don't use this one, and if you do find, like, somebody else's video who has the download link. Now, if you do have a good Android device, you can try and get this one, and it'll probably work. So, yeah. This dude makes some really cool mods for games that don't usually have mods, so... On mobile. So, yeah. Well, once you're done with this, you're going to go to your settings, apps, and you're going to scroll down to Hello Neighbor. Advanced, display over other apps, check that on, and then you're going to launch the game. Now, I have these, I have custom controller bindings here. You're going to need to set these up yourself. And also, this, this version is, like, a little bugged, like, the way that I used it. So, there's going to be some added textures that load when they're not supposed to, but it doesn't really matter. So, we're just going to continue. And now, when you load this in, it's going to look like this. So... You're going to come down to here, this bottom one, and you're going to go to this second option, and you're just going to change it to English. And you might have to continue with, like, Google Play. It's okay. But I... I don't have it connected right now. And this is the mod. So, yeah, and... Since you'll need to do this, because you need blue stacks... I'm going to show you how to add controller bindings, so let's just go into, oh no, I'll just go into Act 3. Like this, usually it would like, see how I can like, yeah, it's just kind of buggy, but <laughs> when you, it, it won't actually affect your gameplay. So yeah, so this is how you add controller bindings, you just come up here. Oh, also, I recommend going to the settings and putting the joystick on static instead of dynamic. Because it'll be harder to use bindings. Alright. So, you're going to come over here. And you can hide them, too, when you're done. But you're just going to go to Controls Editor. And you're going to add D-pad right here. You're going to drag and drop it above... This, so that's like W on top, D on the side, S on the bottom, and A on the side. That will make it so that when you click WASD, the joystick will move to those coordinates. And then these, you just do tap spot. So you just drag and drop one of these. So say I want Q to use an item, you just type in Q, and just make sure it's over this and it'll work, and you can do that with all of them. This one, right click, was a little different. I think I put M... MOBA skill pad, but yeah. And then I just have these are for the inventory slots, which I'm actually going to move this one. Save. And as you can see, it works. Now, if you want to like toggle your mouse, you're just going to drag and drop one of these. And just change it to whatever. Here's the problem. When you do this, it can sometimes still drag down your notification bar, which is kind of annoying. But right now it's actually not doing that, which is nice, so yeah. And it's a little bulky, sometimes it doesn't work like perfectly. Yeah, I might have to turn up the sensitivity a little. Because. Yeah. So, just adjust your settings to make it better. And there you have your free modded Hello Neighbor for PC.
so uh, I'm just gonna. I don't know how to skip on here. I don't know if you even can. Oh, there you go. It's just down here. See that? All right. And it's actually really good. It's like a really good menu in my opinion. I don't, you have to like undo your mouse to skip it. And if you if you don't want to have the lock your mouse thing, you just hold in your what's it called your your left click. So yeah, and if you're on PC, it shouldn't be that buggy. But I am warning you, if you're on Android, it might be pretty buggy. So yeah. So we're just gonna review the menu really quick. It looks very nice. You can put on like a color animation. You can disable the sounds. Icon size. Oh, no. I'm back. Uh, I accidentally made the menu size zero. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, let's start with coordinates. So, what you can do is you can so you do you so you can like set this to a certain position so say you want to teleport right here every time you just set x to this y to this and z to this and when you hit teleport it'll teleport you there so yeah if you just hit teleport it'll teleport you to that exact spot which is exactly where the rendering actually starts okay so let's get out of here God mode. You can fall from any height, and you can get caught by the neighbor, and he can't actually kill you. Does this glitch still work? No, I don't think it does. Well, I'm gonna go find the neighbor. Oh, see? He can't actually kill me. So, if I turn on invisibility, it makes it set the neighbor just can't see you. Now, you can't be currently caught by him, so I'm just gonna do this. So, now if I do this, he just straight up won't see me. Ugh, I remember playing this on my tablet, how buggy it was. I'm so, it's so much better now on here. But whatever, so he, he just can't see you. Alright, so we're gonna just, yeah, we're gonna keep that on. Double jump, it gives you the double jump ability. I also have control to set jump, but that's so that when you hold it in, it's crouch, you know. Same with space, but, you know. Infinity jumps. Disable bad effects, I'm not exactly sure what that does. I think it's supposed to make the house a little less buggy looking, but it's never really done anything. So infinity jumps, you can just spam the jump button. I also sadly couldn't figure out how to do a right click on here. I mean a left click, but whatever. But yeah, so that also, I have god mode on so I don't have fall damage. Never turn on disable collisions without having flight on, or infinity jumps. So, flight, disable collisions. Flight, you can fly around. And I do just want to say, if you're looking for the better alternative for this, get the newer version. It's way better. But I don't think it will actually work on blue stacks. 
So yeah, I just say stick with the old one. But yeah. So you can like fly around, it's kind of like ghost. Now you can also probably get an unlocked version of the PC game that's like free without having to pay for it to get like actual actually good PC mods but I don't think the console enabler will actually work with it so yeah and they're most likely a virus <laughs> so yeah stats fly speed you can make your fly speed faster you can make your walk speed faster your run speed faster your crouching speed faster, your jump height higher, your character size bigger, your game speed, which is like overall speed, like day and not day and night cycle, like how fast the neighbor runs, how fast you run, how fast like everything, like when you throw something, how fast it falls, you know. Skin. So if I click Act One and I look down, it's actually not working for some reason. That sucks. Let's try Act Two. There we go. It gives you, like, your... It makes you tinier, like you are in Act 2. And it gives you, like, the messed up feet. <laughs> Let's try Act 1 again to see if it works. Alright, there we go. So it's, like, just the fixed Act 2. And then Act 3, you're taller again, and you have your Act 3 self. So, yeah. Um... Save inventory and load inventory. These are one of my favorite mods ever. So you grab the items that you want. Just say you have this, right? And for some reason, you wanted this, but you also you didn't have enough room to grab something else. So what you're going to do is you're going to come here. You're going to save inventory, right? And then you can just drop all this stuff. So then once you're done using those items that you wanted to use, that you didn't have enough to hold because those were there. So say I just unlocked the door with that item and then I wanted those back. You just hit load inventory and you have all your items again. So yeah, that's what load and save inventory is. It's a really, it's a really cool mod. So yeah. The next page is the neighbor mods. Machine gun. It's supposed to spam throw tomatoes at you, but it's not working for some reason. Infinity jumps is where the neighbor can have infinity jumps. Alright, let's see if machine gun works. Oh, there you go. You can see the tomatoes spamming at me. Stop. Stops him. So he can't do anything. Flight. He just flies. Infinity jumps is he just can jump on air, but I don't really think it works, because I don't even think he tries to infinity jump. Teleport to character. Teleport character to neighbor. Set. I think the default is probably one. So we'll put him at three. And now he's big. Oh no, dang it. I, I did something to my controls. Oh, there we go. Yeah, uh, whatever, I did something to the game. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll just fix these later. But, yeah, so... That's how you get free Hello Neighbor mods on PC. There is a third page, but it says... It's something about a, a some kind of, like... I think it says, like, load beta mode. It's 
remove demo version. I don't know what that is. Restart game. Oh, it pretty much makes the game paid, but it, it already it's default. So yeah, it's already like that by default. So yeah, and then to actually like fully disable it, you just go to apps. Go back to Hello Neighbor, advanced, display over other apps, and just cancel that. And then it's like fully done. So, yeah. Well, that's it for today's video, guys. Uh, like and subscribe for more like tutorials, maybe. Videos on how to do some stuff. And more Beat Saber, of course, because, you know. I mean, Beat Saber. But, yeah. So, that's it for today's video. Uh, see you in the next one. Yeah. Hope you enjoy your free Hello Neighbor mods. So, yeah. Bye.